More than likely, looking around the room, most of you also are aware of what happened in the late 1970s and early 80s with the boat people. I certainly remember because I was in grade 8 and my parents, through their church, sponsored several families. Uh, these were mostly Vietnamese refugees that had simply fled their homes, got into boats, hoping that nearby countries would take them in. Unfortunately, many died in these overcrowded boats that simply floated at sea for months and months. Canada did step up and accepted many of these refugees. And in fact, Marion Dewar, the mayor of Ottawa at the time, championed this cause, um, accepting many refugees to this area. So where are these refugees now? Well, interestingly, where I work at Briere, one of my family medicine residents who I teach and work with, her mom and dad were on a boat like this. Her sister is an architect, her brother works in IT, and she's a physician serving Canadians. That's where refugees end up. Now, if this government has its way, there'll be very few refugees coming to Canada anymore. <clears throat> As most of you know, in 2012, the Conservative government of Canada implemented one of the most egregious policies ever by a Canadian government. They took health care away from refugees. The response to these cuts were unprecedented. The healthcare community acted swiftly and directly, and this has been sustained over the last two years by many within civil society, especially within faith-based communities and others, of course, in civil society.